Hi, this is Risa with Risa Carbo Creative. We are going to add some spring flowers to this little mini Easter basket. And first we're going to start with some floral foam and cut it down to size to fit in the bottom of this basket so that we can stick our arrangement of flowers into that. And having stems that can stick into the floral foam will give us a lot of flexibility on the, our arrangement and how far out our flowers and greenery go. So to get it to stick, I do put hot glue on the bottom. If your basket weave has like holes in it instead of a solid base, you could add glue to the bottom of the basket instead of to the bottom of the foam. That way the, the glue doesn't ooze through any holes, but this one is a tight weave, so I'm able just to glue and put that straight down without it leaking through the bottom. So I do hold it and make sure it's nice and tight on there. Push down a little bit while the glue hardens so it's a secure hold. And then I'm ready to go and make my flowers. And I thought daffodils and tulips would really be pretty for this basket. I started with a rectangle and then cut it at an angle on each side. This is the shape that I used for a daffodil center. And you can adapt this to really any size of flower that you want to make. So for this one, it's pretty small. Um, it's like two inches wide by an inch and a half tall. And then I just cut those angles and add a scallop edge to the top. And then I'm going to fold it around the wire. And this is the center of our daffodil. And so this is a technique you can use to adjust your daffodil to whatever shape you want to make it or whatever size you want to make it. Then we just put glue along the bottom. I'm going to add the 18 gauge wire right there on top and tuck it in and roll it a little bit and then put glue on one edge and fold those edges over to meet and this will kind of make it pop up and create a little angled cone in the middle for the center of our daffodil. So we just fold that over carefully and make sure that glue doesn't get on our fingers even though when we work with these smaller flowers it is harder to keep the glue off of our hands and then if you have any bulk where the top scallops overlap you can just trim that off with your scissors so don't be afraid to adjust a shape if you need to to fit what works out best for your design you're really going for a look that you're happy with so we start with these designs, but then we can make adjustments as we go to get everything to lay nicely. Then for the petals, we're going to do two layers of three. Just put a little dash of glue at the bottom and place it underneath the center and just pinch it right there at the bottom. Now that glue just on that straight edge helps it to stick out instead of up. We don't want glue on the sides of these because we're going to bring our petals down and out instead of up along the side. So we're doing three around the center, just kind of spacing them e evenly and holding that glue to let it harden. I didn't speed up this video at all just so you could kind of see the process or at least this part of the video and see just how I'm pinching and holding and letting it really attach itself to the wire so that everything stays nice and tight. So we have our first layer done. Now we're doing a second layer of three petals and I am just going to put a little bit of glue and put that in between the two petals in front of it so it fills in that gap and we'll do that for all three petals on this layer. So these are down a little bit below the second layer but really press tight up against that and everything is nice and neat on the bottom. We won't put any greenery on the back of these flowers because we're going to tuck it down into the basket and you will not see the back. So we're just kind of keeping a nice neat uh, look from the top and the edges and this is our daffodil flower ready for the arrangement and you can make any adjustments you want to with different petals and center sizes if you want a taller shorter bigger center you can just adjust the shape of that rectangle now for a tulip we are cutting a metal fringe this is just a little rectangle it's about a half an inch wide by an inch tall and i end up cutting it down because it's a little bit too tall here but um I just do glue along the bottom roll it around the 18 gauge wire and then we can make adjustments, like I said before, as you go. So we have the center here. And then for each of these petals, we'll do six petals. We're cutting a little slit in the middle of the petal. And it's uh, long enough to where we can fold a flap over, but not too tall. So we don't want it to go up more than just maybe like a quarter of an inch right there. Um, and then we do a little dot of glue and fold that flap over. And this pops that petal up nice and tall and will give us a base to glue around that tulip center. So I do each of these steps six times because it's nice to kind of get into a rhythm as we make these felt flowers and have some muscle memory kick in and not have to repeat picking up 
you know, the tools that we need are alternating tools. So that's why I like to do several steps at a time, especially for each flower as I go. So after we have all six of these petals folded and ready, then we attach them to the center. We do the first one and then the second one right there beside it. Now for this first petal, I kind of put it on crooked and I wanted to just mention that it's really important that these tulip petals are glued on nice and straight and tall, that they're not put on at an angle. So just kind of pay attention to that. And if one side is a little bit crooked, then you can use glue to bring that up and make it nice and tall. So I'm thinking about making these petals really straight when I attach it, like straight onto the center. And I'm just putting it right there at the base of the center and beside the other two petals so they're evenly spaced. Now, once all three petals of this first layer is on, I'm putting glue up along the side of each and folding that over the top or underneath the side, whatever way you want to do this. Basically, this just helps us to attach each petal to each other and get that, that height. So they're closed up petals and make that nice, pretty tall tulip. So we're just gluing along the edges and folding them over onto the petal beside it. And that brings our shape up nice and tall and closed and gives us that pretty tall tulip shape. And then after we're done with this first layer, we just add another layer of three petals back behind that. The same way we did the first, just a little bit of glue at the bottom. Find a spot where the two petals in front overlap and place that over so it fills in the dip in front of it and fills in any gaps rather than being stacked up right behind the petal in front of it. So just pinch at the bottom. Whenever I apply petals to a flower, I like to pinch at the bottom and hold right there. And that helps it just be directed where I want it to go. And if I wanted it to have some more gap in between the two layers, I would pinch and pull out a little bit to give some space, but I want these pretty close together. So I'm just keeping them tall and layered like this. And then we can add some glue along the sides as well if we want it to be more flush like up against the petal in front of it whereas if you wanted some more distance in between the layers you wouldn't need to do this step you could even just bring the petals out a little bit with your fingers use hairspray to get it to stay where you want it to stay or fabric stiffener whatever you prefer but we are finished with this tulip once we have it the way we like it we can adjust close it up a little bit more that was more open than I wanted for this petal so I just kind of pulled it and then added some more glue and brought it tighter and closer in. So there's a lot of options for customizing these um, petals and these flowers. For the greenery we're just adding 22 gauge wire right down the strip of the center of this flower. So we put a strip of hot glue and then lay that 22 gauge wire on top and then fold the um, leaf in half and that attaches to the glue and the wire is hidden in between and the, this gives us a lot of flexibility for adding you know, movement to our um, leaf and add that really pretty like realistic vein kind of look. Just trim, trimmed off some excess felt and glue right there at the top, opened it up to check and make sure that that wire is covered and that it's not showing that the felt is all that we see. And I will repeat this for as many leaves as I want to put in the basket and I did a total of of eight of these leaves and then three tulips and three daffodils so when we arrange it this is this is the fun part we just cut the the wire down to the length we want and then stick it into that floral foam if it ends up being too tall then you can just pull it out and cut some off and stick it back in and I did um, some leaves just kind of as a backdrop for the flowers. So I put those in first, just did some quality control checking to make sure that all of the glue and glue strings and felt and everything looks nice as I assemble it and just cut my wire and put everything in as I go. So I hope you enjoy this project and let me know if you have any questions. It's such a fun way to personalize a little basket you might find at the thrift store or at you know a craft store and make it a fun gift or a decor item for your home. And these flowers are all on my website. The petal patterns are linked in the description. And I also have a membership that includes all of these um, shapes for a one monthly cost. So thanks for crafting with me. I hope you enjoyed this project and I hope you have a great day. Mm -hmm.